Hey, what's up, guys? Sasha here, JDM CRX. Today, we're gonna work on the hardtop, getting the Mugen style um, carbon fiber top from Forbidden installed. So, I'm gonna get the car in the garage and then we'll go from there. guys here's the top here's the trim um i'm gonna see how we're gonna get on this install this I'll watch a couple videos because what we have to do is install these brackets right there and on the other side so that's what they came with and a couple screws um, next thing we're gonna drop the top down and this is basically the reason why I'm putting the hard top on. I did um, fix these, but I got two spots here and I got a spot here coming up. And I think there's one also on the driver's side, which is starting to tear. Um, I can't even see it it's right there. You can, it's barely visible. I tried everything with this top so far and I do not have the time right now to um, Put a new soft top on, even though I like it. So what I'm going to start with, I flipped it around already. I'm going to install these uh, window seals. I'm going to go in here on each side. to trim them a little bit. Maybe we're gonna wait and wait with these until later. And then we have this seal right here, which goes onto the part. Okay, so let's go like this around here. So, so guys, the first thing you wanna do is clean all this. I'm using alcohol, some other folks have acetone or something like that, but I think cleaning alcohol just takes all the grease and stuff off. nice and clean. Let's start with this rubber seal. And it goes right on the front here. I'm going to push it nicely and firm on here. Double checking this out. I've bent it around. Hopefully get this in the right spot. Push this on really good.
So let's get in and I'm going to lower it to the top. What I'm going to do is I'll leave it right there in this position. Okay, that way you have easy access to uh, taking these guys off. Because we got to get on these screws over there on both sides and install them on the top. So we got them both here. Keep in mind this is flipped now, so we're not gonna mess this up. So this guy's gonna actually goes here. And this boy goes there. Okay. I'm gonna put them on quick and then we'll go from there. But here they are. Yeah, I just put these two screws back in there and done. So the top is so far good, except for these two rubber seals. I'm gonna leave them off now for now, and we're gonna drop the top down because the next part we gotta get in here and take these plastic pieces off. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the next thing is, when, like I told you, we need to get on these plastic pieces right here. Um, basically this guy right here will need to be replaced. And then the other side would take down too. Not sure if the belts are gonna be a problem later on when I take these covers off, but we'll just leave them for now. So there are screws under here and the screws under there and that pop this, this cover off. Let's start with that. So next, we got this off. There we go, it snaps just right off. There it is. That's one piece. There's a plastic right here, and we gotta get this screw out because it's just spinning. Nope, you don't need. So, correct me, you do not need to take this off. There you go. my mistake it just looks like it's been screwed on there so what we need to get on to is these screws right here this piece is not gonna go this way this is the opposite side we need this piece right here fits right in there like this see so that's how it goes with a little piece coming up like that. Okay, so we're gonna loosen, we're gonna loosen 
take this screw out, we take this screw out, we take this screw out. This upper one is a 10, that looks like a 12, and that looks like, like a 12. I'm not sure how I can show you guys this. Um, I'm taking the screws out, but I'm just gonna fast forward. So here goes the piece, and um, I'm trying. I'm gonna put these screws just hand tight in there. So, like I said, one goes here. Don't go all crazy and 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 tighten them really really hard, because you might have to adjust a little bit later when the top's on there. That way, it leaves you some play room um, to fit in the screws into the top, which go in right in here. I thought about installing these on the top first and then, then putting this on, but this may be easier for later to wiggle it around. Um, some guys even said they put some uh, rubber gaskets here because it made a lot of noise. Um, I'm not sure if that's necessary. Um, after I take the test drive, I definitely, definitely gonna take a look at that. See, and you can easily access this from right here and from right there. Uh, this is almost too tight. I'm gonna loosen it a little bit. Yeah. The only screw we probably have a hard time getting to later is the one back there, but maybe even that one can be accessed from right here. So see, this is nice and loose. And now we're gonna do the other side and repeat that. Here we go guys, um, brackets are installed, they're loose. Here's the other bracket, it's pretty loose. Close this door too. Um, the top parts are on the top over there. Um, this set came, here's these two little plastic ones. Came with screws from uh, Forbidden Hardtop. Where I bought it from, they um, came with little screws. Uh, the gaskets for seals, who knows what you call that? For here, I left them out for the windows for right now. We're gonna install them later. Okay, here's the top. I'm gonna flip this around. I'm gonna put it on the S2000. set it on there by yourself All right here it is first looks now we got to get in there and screw the thing down but I think we're gonna click it in the top first before we're gonna do that fit nice seal right here that's perfect okay so now we're gonna go down here and trying to get these screw get onto these screws the same way here too um this is gonna be the tricky part now to get 
reach up. No, we're in here. Oof. It's tight. So, there are three screws going in here. That's what I was saying. See, this was moving a lot backwards. These are the three screws. I had to get me some lights to show you right here. Those are the three screws. They go right in here. And these we have to install first because they don't have much, much wiggle room right there. And then we're gonna tighten, tighten these down. Painful. Once this is in, 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 in place, I think it's easier when this plastic is back and stuff, you can just easier to take that top out at some point. I you know if you want to take it out. And what I'm doing now too, I'm adding a little bit of pressure from the top. Again, hand tight. Don't over tighten these. Okay. Now, since we had a little pressure from the top, put a little bit more pressure on here. Not much. So you can see right here. I don't know if you notice, it's moving a little bit. There's our seal sitting there too. It's actually perfect the way how it sits on that little edge right there all right so I'm not sure how much you can see the pressure but I'm just pushing put a little pressure from the top I'm gonna tighten these guys here first I do the 12s a little turn put a little bit of pressure on them again not too crazy on these. Okay. And now we're going to repeat that on the other side.
noticed I could have made my life a lot easier. There's a little screw down there that I didn't even see. So, just for the record, take that little screw out, and that way you can take this whole plastic piece out. Makes your life a lot easier than having this thing in here. Okay. I lost you guys there for a second, the battery was dead. So how do I did this? I just put this on there. There you go, that snaps right in. Now, which part goes on where? That's a good question. That's the other side. I guess they just slide up. Oh, we just clap in there. Oh, snap in. There you go. There goes that. And let me know what are these for in the comments. These hooks. Because I tell you what, I had now not even an idea that they were there. All these quick um on the way I, I did already the passenger side again make sure that they're clean where they're going and I'm gonna put this piece on there and I pushed it push it as far as possible to the front and then we we'll just go up Like I said, some guys they did some with some extra adhesives and all this stuff. Um, to be honest, this tape that's on here is so sticky. I mean, I don't think they're gonna come off. To be honest with you. What I did notice, both sides, not sure if that's going to be an issue right there. There's a little air gap right there. And on the other side, on the passenger side right there. 
Um, it's nothing major, but uh, I might just have to see if I have to tighten this a little bit down. Other than that, I think we're good. That's how it's gonna look from the outside. Nice and sealed, that's good, that's great. All right, you guys. Again, this is Sasha, JDM CRX. Thanks for watching. See you then. Peace out.